Another oil spill. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. Sindri, is that you? Yes. I need to talk to Kratos. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh, dear. <sighs> it's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. <laughs> These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. Sigil arrows won't work on this. open.
Well, that was a bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. these troughs before, oh. haven't we, brother? Oh. It's no use without water in the trough. Oh. Oh. I'll wager we can redirect the water to get that wheel turning. That worked, shall we? This opinion of yours, was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job. Not mine. It's plain to see Tears no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might be. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the place of protecting your child. <laughs> by nightmares. They'll be even more dangerous until we stun them.
Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. <laughs> I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with a disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. Ah, team one. for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it.
I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Hair Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Funky! Long as you know that ain't the way to the fort. Sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. <gasps> And we'll wrap it up right there. I hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you'd like to support me, and I'll catch you next video.